Hezbollah, a powerful militant and political group based in Lebanon, has been at the heart of Middle Eastern conflicts for decades. It has fought multiple wars with Israel, expanded its influence across the region, and played a significant role in shaping Lebanon's politics. Recently, Hezbollah made headlines after a mysterious and deadly incident involving exploding pagers. In this video, we'll dive deep into Hezbollah's origins, its rise to power, and its ongoing conflict with Israel. Let's get started. Hezbollah's Beginnings Hezbollah, meaning Party of God in Arabic, was born out of the chaos of Lebanon's civil war in the early 1980s. Lebanon's Shiite Muslim population, which had long been marginalized and lived in poverty, was looking for a voice and protection amidst the violence. Israel's occupation of southern Lebanon at the time added to the tension, as Israeli forces were attempting to root out Palestinian fighters using Lebanon as a base for attacks. Initially, Hezbollah's main goal was to drive Israeli forces out of Lebanon. Its founders were inspired by Iran's 1979 Islamic Revolution, and Iran soon became a major backer of Hezbollah, providing money, training, and weapons. Iran's support transformed Hezbollah into a force capable of standing up not just to Israel but also to Western influence in the region. The early days of conflict, Hezbollah quickly gained a reputation for its fierce resistance against Israel. In the early 1980s, the group was linked to a series of deadly attacks on U.S. and Israeli targets. One of the most significant was the 1983 bombing of a U.S. Marine barracks in Beirut, which killed 241 American servicemen. This attack sent shockwaves through the world, and the U.S. soon labeled Hezbollah a terrorist organization. Despite being considered a terrorist group by the U.S. and several other countries, Hezbollah continued to grow. It had the advantage of being deeply rooted in Lebanon's Shiite community, which saw the group as its protector against Israeli aggression. While many in the West saw Hezbollah as a dangerous terrorist group, many in Lebanon saw it as a resistance movement, standing up to occupation and defending Lebanese sovereignty. Transition from Militancy to Political Power After Lebanon's civil war ended in 1990, Hezbollah began to shift from being purely a militant group to becoming a political force as well. In 1992, it entered Lebanon's political arena, running for parliamentary seats and winning a number of them. This was a key moment in Hezbollah's transformation. It wasn't just a group of fighters anymore, but a political player that had the backing of a significant portion of Lebanon's population. Hezbollah's political influence grew over the years, and by the early 2000s, it was a dominant force in Lebanon's government. At the same time, its military wing continued to operate, with thousands of fighters stationed in southern Lebanon, ready to engage in conflict with Israel if necessary. The group's leaders, particularly Hassan Nasrallah, became household names in Lebanon and were seen as defenders of the Shiite community. In 2000, Hezbollah achieved one of its most significant victories when Israel withdrew its forces from southern Lebanon after 18 years of occupation. This event marked a turning point for Hezbollah, which claimed credit for forcing Israel's retreat. This victory bolstered its image as a successful resistance movement and solidified its position as a major power in Lebanon and the broader Arab world. The Israeli withdrawal didn't bring peace, however. Hezbollah's military presence in southern Lebanon continued to grow, and the group maintained its stance of resistance against Israel. It wasn't long before this led to another major conflict. The 2006 Lebanon War In July 2006, Hezbollah carried out a raid across the Israeli border, killing three Israeli soldiers and capturing two others. Hezbollah's leader, Hassan Nasrallah, believed the raid would put pressure on Israel to release Lebanese prisoners held in Israeli jails. However, the response from Israel was swift and brutal. Israel launched a full-scale military assault on Hezbollah strongholds across Lebanon, including in the capital, Beirut. For a month, Israeli forces bombarded southern Lebanon, while Hezbollah launched thousands of rockets into northern Israel. The war resulted in over 1,000 Lebanese deaths, the destruction of much of southern Lebanon, and extensive damage to Israel's northern cities. Despite the devastation, Hezbollah emerged from the conflict claiming victory. 
the fact that it had survived a massive Israeli military offensive boosted its standing among its supporters. In the aftermath of the war, Hezbollah began rebuilding southern Lebanon, providing aid to those affected, further solidifying its role as both a military and political force. The Pager Blasts In September 2024, Hezbollah suffered a major blow when thousands of its pagers exploded simultaneously in a mysterious incident. The pagers used by Hezbollah for secret communications detonated in both Lebanon and Syria, killing at least 12 people and injuring nearly 3,000. This incident was widely seen as a significant security breach for Hezbollah, with reports suggesting that Israeli intelligence was behind the explosions. Pagers, also known as beepers, are small communication devices that receive signals via radio waves. Unlike modern smartphones, pagers don't have cameras, microphones, or internet connectivity, making them harder to track or hack. This is why Hezbollah had relied on them for secret communications. According to reports, Israel's Mossad had planted explosives inside the pagers months before the detonations, then triggered them using coded messages. The pager explosions highlight the ongoing covert war between Israel and Hezbollah. While Israel has not officially commented on the incident, Hezbollah has vowed to retaliate, and the Lebanese government condemned the attack as an act of Israeli aggression. The incident exposed vulnerabilities in Hezbollah's communication network, which had long been considered secure. Hezbollah's role in the 2023 escalation with Israel. Hezbollah's long-standing conflict with Israel took a new turn in October 2023, following attacks by Hamas on southern Israel. Hezbollah has expressed solidarity with Hamas, framing its involvement as part of a broader resistance movement against Israeli occupation. The October escalation is not the first time Hezbollah has aligned itself with Hamas. Both groups share a common goal of resisting Israel, and Hezbollah has long provided support to Palestinian militant groups. The conflict between Israel and Hezbollah has been ongoing for decades, but Hezbollah's increasing military power and its involvement in Syria have made it a more formidable force than ever before. Today, Hezbollah is one of the most heavily armed non-state military forces in the world. Its fighters are well-trained and battle-hardened from years of fighting in Syria. The group's leader, Hassan Nasrallah, remains a central figure in Lebanese politics, and Hezbollah continues to hold significant sway over the country's government. Hezbollah's arsenal of rockets and missiles poses a constant threat to Israel, and its military capabilities have only grown stronger with time. One thing is clear. Hezbollah is not going anywhere anytime soon, and it will likely continue to be a central figure in the ongoing conflict between Israel and its neighbors. What do you think about this? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and share the video, and follow us for more amazing videos. Thank you.